So in the last couple of videos, we've been working with the room database. So this is our app so far. We have products here and they all have the same image, but it's important to note that Wi-Fi is off and mobile data is off. So the images must be appearing from cache. I think we're using, if we go into the, I think we have an adapter somewhere. And I think we're using Picasso somewhere. This is the products adapter on Create Fuel. Yeah, we're, so we're using Picasso, so that must be caching it or something. But um, you'll notice, yeah, internet is off, and yet we can still scroll through products. So we have what socks one dozen, and I added some, between videos, I added some uh, products, I think. But we don't have a good way to actually add products right now. Like, every time you load the app, I think if we go into main activity, we are adding some products, so we're adding a socks one dozen, but that's not, that's not really what we want. Say you're the administrator of this app and you wanna add some new products, so how can we do that? So in this video, we're gonna create, we're gonna come here, we're gonna create a new tab that's like admin or administration, where you can actually type in a, uh, type in a title and a price, and um, you can actually add products to this database. So let's get started. So that's what we got so far, let's get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and close everything. The first thing we need to do is, well, if we open up the app again, you'll see we have we have home, jeans, shorts, socks, settings, settings. Let's change one of our settings. So let's go into menu and menu here, and we should be able to change it this way. There are, there are a couple of modes to this. There's this mode, but I think we can just use the design. So let's, let's, um, let's make settings. Let's just say, let's make the bottom one. Let's make that admin. So, you know, I don't even like using that. I'm gonna use uh, this. So settings. So I'll just make sure that's the right one. Two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six. So it has, I mean, we can do it this way, but I generally don't. Icon, ID, title, it should have an ID, yeah, ID. We'll call this, um, we'll call this admin. Uh, then for the text, I think we can actually enter a text here also. Actually, I don't like, let's, let's undo that. Let's. Okay, let's just uh, command control K. Okay, I'm gonna do it with text because I like text better. This, this is the way I usually work. So let's do this. Let's change this to action. Let's do action, um, action admin. And I, I, I kind of switched. Yeah, let's, let's change it. Let's change it also. Let's change it to camel case. Okay, so action admin. So we have our admin there and the icon was this icon. Let's preview it really quick. Yeah, that's not a good icon. Let's get another icon. Let's go to drawables. We should be able to go to new. And then we have, it's like a vector asset, I think is what it is. We can actually click on the clip art and we can actually pick something. So let's see if there's like an admin. No, there's, that's a user. Um, let's just find a good random icon for now. Um, maybe, oh, the ad maybe. Yeah, so we're adding a product, so maybe Maybe it, may, maybe it might make sense to use something kind of like, let's see here, add. Uh, yeah, let's just do playlist. That's not exactly what we want, but that's close enough. Let's use a playlist add. So we'll use playlist add. We'll make it black, next, finish. And now we have access to playlist add black, and there's the icon there. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. And if you go back to our menu, uh, we should have, we could do, Playlist add and the preview open up over there. I guess it doesn't show the preview. But if I were to if I were to format this, oops, let's get rid of that. If I were to format this code, um, we sh and let's go ahead and run it just to make sure. But this should add admin there. It'll be admin and it should have that new icon. So let's wait a couple of seconds. Griddle's taking a little bit to run. I may need to restart Android Studio. I don't know. Probably should have done that before this video. It's taken a long time to load. I might need to uh, finish, okay, cool. So if we open this up, the bottom one now, oh, it still says settings, we need to fix that. But we successfully can go, look, the icon is right there, the icon is good. So I think we need to update, yeah, let's update this, let's do, we'll just call it, uh, we'll call it admin. So go ahead and save that and I'll run it one more time. And we should see, now this is much faster. 
open that back up again. Yeah, now it says admin, and we can actually go to admin. So it's not so it's not actually going there. It's just it's just highlighting it for us. So let's go ahead and go back to Android Studio. And if we go back to main activity, you see every time we we set this up in a previous video, but every time we 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 click on one of one of those items there, it's going to fire off set navigation item list selected listener. And we're just doing a win right here, like when it's action home, when it's jeans, when it's shorts. Let's do one more. Let's do, I think we can just do r.id.admin, action admin. Um, and then we'll do, uh, then this will actually go ahead and just copy uh, a fragment. We're going to be using fragment for this because why not? Yeah, well, we could use an activity, but I think a fragment will work. So we actually need to create that. Uh, that fragment. So right now it's just going to go to the genes fragment. So if I were to run this, you'll notice, yeah, when you click on admin, it just goes to genes fragment. So let's go back to the emulator. And if I go to admin, it just opens up the genes one. So that's not finished yet. So let's go back to here. And we won't need to create uh, a, a gene. Let's just, let's just go into genes fragment really quickly. Um, let's, let's, let's copy. Let's actually, that might be a good one to copy. So I'm going to go ahead and locate that, and it's right here. And I'm going to copy, and you can do the same. I'm, us I'm using keyboard shortcuts, but you can do the same thing. You can right-click. There should be like a copy. Then you should be able to like, should be able to like paste it in there. Then it says, "Hey, uh, new name." And we'll call this, um, we'll call this admin fragment, and that looks good to me. And it's going to show. We kind of got it set up here. Let's see. Um, yeah, that looks okay, but it's, uh, so now we have our admin fragment. Um, we need to update the layout at some point, but let's go ahead and just run this. So let's do admin fragment. So whenever you select one of those, it's going to look for home, jeans, shorts, or admin. In this case, it will be admin, and it should go to this fragment right here, which shows the fragment of jeans. So let's go ahead and run it. I'm a big fan of running it very often as often as possible. So if you go here and you click on admin, yeah. So it still has that, but it's successfully using this admin fragment. It's just that this admin fragment here is using the genes, the fragment genes layout. So this layout is under layouts there. And if we locate it, oh, those don't have constraints. But if we locate this, uh, we can go ahead and do the same thing. We can just uh, copy it. We can go to the layouts folder and just paste it on top of there. We'll call this um, fragment admin. That should work. And let's get rid of some of this text here because we're not going to need any of that. Actually, we could use some of that, but let's not. Let's do this. Let's do text view. We'll do uh, wrap, wrap, left, left, parent, top, top. Oh, we'll do, yeah, just top, top, parent. And you can do the same thing in uh, in, in the design mode, you could have just slapped, you could have dragged in a text view. I, I personally like the text view, but it just creates the same thing. And let's give this a text of some. Let's do text equals um, admin panel. So I'm doing it in XML mode down there, or text mode, but there is design mode. And if you select that, you can, add, you can do the same things. You can give it, you can set it to wrap content, you can title it, you can give it an ID. I just prefer to do it all in the text mode where I just type it out by hand. Um, but this, but either way you choose to do it will work for fine. Will work fine. So we have that. So we have fragment admin. Um, let's close the genes one and let's go into our admin fragment here and let's do admin. And this is going to take us to our fragment admin right here, which is attribute. Let's close that. Yeah, it'll just say admin panel. So I'm going to save that and run it. And let's go back to the emulator and let's wait a second until it loads then we should see that text there. So let's go there, and then we have admin, and here's our admin panel. So great, we have, and we can go home, there's our home, and we have admin here. Okay, so now let's do the hard work, or not the hard work, but just the tedious work. So we have text mode, and I'm, I'll, do, I'll do a couple of these. No, I'll, just for, well, for this video, I'll go ahead and use the text so you can kind of get a feel for it, but you can do the same thing. Like you can, you can select text over here and do, uh, plain text, I think we want to just drag it in somewhere there. Uh, we can click and drag there. We can click and drag there. Let go. It has a name there. And we can do the same thing here. So attributes, 
then you might, uh, I guess they cleaned it up. That's interesting. So we have, so yeah, we can set its uh, width to that right there, or our width it needs layout width zero dp. Uh, all we need to do, I think, right to write up. I'm not, I don't really use this a whole lot. I use, I just use the text mode. But yeah, so you can do the same thing. Give it an ID. So we're going to need a title. So this will be uh, product title. Uh, so that'll be product title. And this actually might, this actually might work for now. We might just stick with the title. So oh, we, that's, we need to name it. So the hint it says name there. Uh, the hint is somewhere. I don't know. Where, I don't usually use this. Text hint. Hint. Let's call this. Common attributes. Let's call this. What should we call it? Um, product title that didn't update. What did that do? Oh, we have text. Let's get rid of that. So now it says product title. So I just had a. If I'll go back so you can see what I did. But we had a text of name there. So if you go to design mode, you'll see if I select that. It had a text of name. That's actually not what we, did I add that? That's actually not what we want. We want the hint, which has product title. So let's save it and run it. Oh, we need, we need, to, we need to give it a button. So let's drag in a button. Um, just drag it somewhere in the middle. Uh, click, drag, let go, and then click, drag, and let go. And we'll name this button, let's call it um, submit. Uh, then we'll give it an ID of button is fine actually. That's or we'll call it um, call it submit button. So there we are. So let's run it and let's go back to the emulator and we should see we should see. Okay, let's go to admin and now now we can type in our product title. So um, uh, we'll call this uh, we'll call this new. So there we are. I can hit submit, but it doesn't do anything right now. So what we want to do is we we actually want to save this record to the database. So how can we do that? Um, there are a couple of ways, but the easiest way is going to be just use just to create a new object. I'm trying to think out loud here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually leave it at this. I'm going to stop the video now, and we'll finish it up in the next video. So in the next video, we'll actually save it to the database where we can where we can go here. Uh, go to the home, and then we, if you scroll to the bottom, we should see our new we should see our new product there. So I'll cover that in the next video. Hopefully, you learned something in here, and I'll see you in the next video.